Take a look at the 12 worst queens in history. 1. Maria Eleonora of Brandenburg thought her daughter was a monster. Sweden's Queen Maria Eleonora of Brandenburg wasn't delighted when her daughter Queen Christina was born. When Maria shouted that she had been handed a dark and unattractive daughter, with black eyes, instead of the son she had longed for, the audience laughed. After many attempts at murder, she began to call the other woman's character a monster. Christina was even forced to lie near to her father's decaying corpse. What a heinous act. 2. Wu Zetian, the empress who killed her mother and grandchildren. Empress Wu Zetian was China's only female emperor. In the Tang Dynasty, she is claimed to have seized power by force and carried out a number of assassinations. She acted in this manner in order to safeguard her reputation. Rumor has it that she killed her mother and her grandkids because they dared to stand up to her and oppose her. 3. Spain's Queen Isabella forced Catholicism on the people of her kingdom. From 1451 to 1504, Queen Isabella ruled Spain alongside King Ferdinand II. To rid herself of the Spanish Muslims and Jews, she sought to exterminate them from her throne during her reign. It was her decision in 1492 to either force all Jews to convert to Catholicism or to expel them from the city. Afterwards, the Jews were taken before the Spanish court, where they were given the option of either converting to Catholicism or being exiled for their religious beliefs. 4. Portugal's deranged Maria I, one of the worst queens in history. In Portugal's history, Maria I was notorious for her insane behavior. It wasn't until 1786, following the death of her husband, that she began to lose her sanity. The queen exhibited violent, deranged, and frantic behavior. Having lost both her son and confessor, she was deemed legally crazy in 1792. Son John claimed the throne soon after. 5. Empress Irene of Athens ordered her son's eyes to be gouged out. Irene of Athens, empress of the Byzantine Empire, reigned from 797 to 802 CEN. Two decades of co-ruling with her son were followed by a decade of managing the kingdom on her alone. A Greek tragedy, the mother-son pair of Emperor Constantine VI and Empress Alexandra were both unpopular rulers. A woman of great ambition, she aspired to be in complete control of the Byzantine Empire. To get revenge on her son, Irene formed a plot with certain political friends. In the end, the mother and son reunited, but that wasn't the end of their story. Constantine's decision to divorce his wife and marry his lover in 786 enraged the populace, and he was forced to resign. When this happened, Irene took advantage of the situation and conspired against her son once more. She ordered Constantine's arrest and slashed his eyes out with a knife. 6. Queen Ranavalona I, one of the worst queens in history who subjected her mother to extreme hunger. Madagascar was ruled by Queen Ranavalona I from 1828 to 1861. Her fierceness was undeniable, and she would do everything for her throne. After her husband, King Radama I, died, she assumed the throne. Some documents say she suffocated the life of her mother by forcing her to starve to death. 7. The Queen with No Heart, Catherine de' Medici. Henri II of France had a long-term relationship with his mistress Diane de Poitiers, and this was not news. He implored his wife, Queen Catherine de' Medici, to let him see her on his deathbed. The Queen, on the other hand, refused to budge and even barred Diane from entering the room. It was a lonely, agonizing death for the King, as he died without his beloved. It wasn't just that though. A rebellious daughter of Queen Mother, Margaret, dared to offend her, and Catherine retaliated. Over Catherine's adultery and affairs, she and her married daughter would get into heated arguments. Apparently, Catherine's screams could be heard resonating through the palace. Queen Mother once trapped her daughter in a castle when she learned of her daughter's new romantic interest. As we know, Catherine's husband had a mistress, which is why she may have felt this way. This queen made a name for herself when she ordered the execution of her daughter's romantic interest in front of her. King Henry, her son, thought it was harsh as well. However, he did not execute him in front of her sister. 8. One of the all-time hated queens, Marie Antoinette. 
During the period of 1774 to 1792, Marie Antoinette was France's queen. She was also the final monarch in France before the revolution. Her image as a spendthrift and scandal-prone queen preceded her. As an example, have a look at the diamond necklace scandal. To infiltrate the French court in 1785, the young lady purported to be the queen's friend, Countess de La Motte. In order to mislead a member of high society, she made him believe she loved him. So far as hiring a prostitute and disguising her as the queen, she managed to persuade the man that she wanted to buy a diamond necklace. Each piece of jewelry was worth 1.6 million livres, $12 million, at the time. Nothing happened, and the queen had no idea what had happened. However, the people loathed Antoinette, even though she was a good person. Marie Antoinette, one of history's most despised queens, is noted for her infamous discourse. In response to the French people's lack of bread, she exclaimed, let them eat cake which sparked the French Revolution and led to her execution. She's considered one of history's worst queens to this day. Nevertheless, historians now conclude that all of this was just smart propaganda. Marie Antoinette, 5 Myth-Busting Facts 9. The Bloody Mary, Mary I Burned Protestants Alive Mary I, popularly known as Bloody Mary, was a Catholic queen who ruled a Protestant country. Even though Mary I was the first legitimate monarch of Britain, her rule lasted barely five years before she was overthrown. She declared war on the Protestants and executed a number of them for heresy as a result of her actions. The Queen was responsible for the burning of nearly 300 Protestants, some of whom she burned on the scene. 10. Queen of Castile, caressed her husband's dead body for years. A Queen of Castile from 1504 to 1516, Queen Juana la Loca suffered from a variety of psychological problems. It wasn't until 1506 that her father laid to rest the body of her spouse. To the contrary, Juana used to open the tomb and touch the corpse. In the end, she had the body dug up and kissed her husband's feet. As a result of her constant carrying of his casket around, she put it under her bed. Many years later, she allowed his body to be buried in front of her house. 11. Queen Catherine allegedly murdered her husband. Queen Catherine the Great of Russia was neither Russian nor Catherine. Her mother-in-law passed away in 1762, and she took over as regent. Peter, her spouse, was crowned emperor of Russia in 1861. Unfortunately for him, he was not well-liked due to his clear distaste for Russia. As a result of seeing this, Catherine resolved to depose her husband. No evidence points to the Queen's involvement in the assassination. It was perpetrated by her supporters, and public opinion held her culpable, the records read. A strong ruler, she is also regarded as one of history's worst queens for her ruthlessness and cruelty. 12. Diane de Poitiers the one who made Catherine de' Medici a third wheel. On this list, we had to add the cherished mistress of Catherine de' Medici. Diane was more than just a mistress to King Henry II during the reign of his son, the future king. She was a well-educated and politically astute individual. Henry II's official letters were written by her as a result of this circumstance with his consent of course, she would even sign for him on the dotted line. And he even let some of these letters have her signature. Sometimes, they even signed their letters on Re Diane, the couple's name. Cringe.